guys, it's your girl Shayna Renee. Welcome back to another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for the vibes. As always, today is Saturday, April 29th, I believe. It's crazy how April is gone already, but we're back for another vlog. I think this might be a day vlog, if not a few days of my life vlog. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but today we are going for we're going out to an event in Atlanta for Wolford. They're opening up a new store location out here. Well, I think their first ever store location out here. It's going to be in Buckhead Shops. That's going to be exciting. And they invited me to come celebrate with them today. Have some food, drinks, beverages, vibes, whatever. So that's what we're doing today. I just finished getting my hair done. The bob is back out. I took those braids out because... It, that guy was, I was complaining in the last vlog about it 24-7. So you guys should know now that it just wasn't my vibe. My nose like running. I don't know what's going on. But my girl Tiff got me right and got my bob together for me. Um, I feel like my bob already grew. I feel like since the last time I did it, maybe um tripping, but I feel like my hair grew. I was oiling my hair on a daily basis with my Miel Organics. So hopefully it worked. But yeah, so this is what we're doing right now. I need to get an outfit and put a little outfit together to wear today. I'm thinking I want to wear a hat. I want to wear my Rusin Baginski hat, I think. So I'm trying to potentially plan an outfit around that hat. Because as much as I just got my hair done, the front of my hair is still not as long as the rest. You guys can see, like, it's, like, there. And it thins out. Like, I need to really get that together. So I'll be wearing my hats, pull my hair back, put the hat on top. This makes it look more polished, more put together, in my opinion. Um, I want to wear this hat, I think. So I might have to pull an outfit and put something together around that. Look, I have a few options. Can you guys see me? I have a few options in mind. Let me make sure I don't look too crazy in here. It's decent. Um, my girl Abigail sent me this denim set from Sev. It's denim jeans and a denim jacket with feathers. I was thinking about wearing this, but then I wouldn't wear a hat with this, obviously. Especially not that hat. So, this is one of my options for today. Um, y'all, so, I'm about to get started on my makeup. First things first, I just want to say, I invited my friend to come with me to the event. And she just completely flopped on me. Even up to yesterday, she said she was coming. And now she's not coming, so I'm going alone. Um, I think I might meet somebody there. I don't know. But I think I'm... At this point, like, I feel like if people don't come or cancel you last minute, I feel like that just means God just wants you to go alone. Like, and I personally feel like I do better with networking at events when I go alone. Because if I go with, like, my friend or somebody like that, it's just like I'm with them the whole time. We just talking. I'm not really networking the way I should. So I'm just like, you know what, Shan? Don't even overthink it. Just get ready to go and just go. Don't even worry about who's there. Just go what you need to go do what you need to do and leave period so that's what i'm doing just getting my makeup ready i've done my makeup routine several times in the last month so you guys should not ask me for a makeup routine anytime soon because i'm doing my makeup the same way i did get my eyebrows done in the last vlog so they look perfect they look so good i love my eyebrows when they're like two days old or like a week old because the first day, it's like, you know, that like white casting line underneath. I don't be liking that. So, the eyebrows look good. Um, I'm just going to put some primer on. Because I still have my um, skincare on from this morning when I left the house. I only left the house at like 11.30. It's only 2.36. So, I'm good in that department for right now. I'm putting on my... Prime Lab L'Oreal. I've told you guys about this product several times. It's so good. It just makes your skin radiate. I already love it. Um, but I picked my outfit. I'm wearing the Alexander Wang top with my white Margiela jeans. I'm about to film a get dressed at me TikTok because. I ain't post one of those in a minute, and this is a cute outfit, so I'm gonna take a little look, little picture, well, not picture, video. Um, 
So my hair is going to be like pulled back under my Ruslan hat because that's going to be my accessory. And yeah, that's the vibe. I'm wearing these Chanel earrings that I got. Well, these were gifted to me a little while ago. My birthday two years ago. I think Kyra got me these earrings. Yeah. So these are old, but just do those on. And yeah, that's really all I'm doing. I'm just waiting to get ready because it's about time for me to start getting ready, but not yet. And I don't like having my clothes on for like too long because then I just start feeling like not fresh. And I feel like I need to change my outfit. So, yeah, and y'all see the bob? The bob is moving, okay? Stiff. Weird. Guys, I'm not even going to the Wolfer store anymore. There's been a change of plans. I'm going somewhere else, but we'll vlog tomorrow because I'm not even going to vlog when I get there. I'm just going to go with the vibes, go with the flow, and I'll see you guys later or tomorrow. Oh my God. hey guys good morning it's the next day it is sunday um april 30th i literally have on the same clothes from yesterday <laughs> i just obviously changed my underwear and my tank top i kept on the same pants and jacket because my friend last minute just hit me up she's like can you come me to the mall i'm like i'm always down to go to the mall i shouldn't be spending no money but i'm gonna come so that's where we're heading to the mall um last night was so much fun i had like such a cute pizza date then i um played some games at this bar next door to the pizza place i'm wearing my friend's brand ember niche on my glasses um so cute they match my pants and my little Bottega bag and i just wanted some glasses where i could keep it on the whole time in the mall but i could still see you know so they have like a little tent for the sun but it's still appropriate for inside the mall i don't have nothing with a dark tint where i gotta keep pulling out my glasses to see what i'm looking at so that's the vibe because i didn't like putting on any makeup but i'm like i need a little something to cover up these bags i was up late last night i was drinking you freaking mother fricker you don't want to let me over like you see i'm trying to come over like i know the front of your car is scratched up and you don't you don't mind getting it hit but still damn I hate people that drive like that, you know? Like, come on, the road, you know? Anyway, so yeah, I'm heading to Lennox. Um, I'm gonna be there for a little while. Ugh, I really just wanna go to, um. sorry guys, my nose itching. I really just wanna go to Urban. I wanna go to Urban Outfitters and Zara. That's really it. Like, I'm not about to be in there for too long, but I thought I wasn't going anywhere today. Like, I, my plan was to stay in the house and just chill, clean, cook regular shit like that on a Sunday but you always got that one friend that want to come distract you and take you out of your plans for the day but it's cool it's a nice day I would like to be outside anyway so it's whatever so I'll see you guys later just wanted to give you guys an update on what was happening today I need to put this camera down because I gotta drive hey guys good morning we are a few days into the vlog um I just got a package. I don't know what it is. So I thought it was cool on my last vlog how I blindly opened the package and showed you guys what I got because my reaction was so grateful. So I'm like, let me open this for y'all because I really don't know what's in here. Oh, it's a good one, y'all. It's a good one. I got a package gifted to me by Way. I think that's how you pronounce it, Way. Oh my god, they sent me a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, I gotta get a picture on my Instagram. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, I need to actually get my day started. It's late. It's already 1.20. But I got a body cleanser. This is in the scents. St. Bart's. I heard this is their new scent. So let me smell it. I can already kind of smell it through the packaging. I hate when... These packages don't have like an easy peel set up. Oh my god. 
It smells good, y'all. It smells like the beach vacation type of vibe. Like, I really, really love this. Ooh, this is a body cleanser, so, you know, use this in the shower. And then I also got the scalp and body scrub. So, this is like a, um, a, what's that? What's the word I'm looking for? Well, it's a scrub, but there's another word to it. It's like very grainy. It's like a, it's like a um, sugar scrub type of vibe, but you can use it in your hair and on your body. So that's a plus. It probably smells just like. Did I see it? The texture of it. It smells just like the body scrub. Mm -hmm. I like that. I can't wait to use this, guys. Oh my gosh, I've been feeding to try their products, so I'm so glad they sent me a few stuff. I requested a some more stuff they didn't send me everything but i am happy with what they sent me i also got the body cream so this is good for layering because i got the cleanser in the same scent the body scrub and the body cream so i'm definitely going to be smelling like this from a mile away so i'm going to definitely use them as a trio i requested the hand wash and the hand cream because i really wanted to put this in my bathroom or my kitchen but they only sent me the hand wash still grateful and they also sent me a thick hair treatment mask i'm really excited to try this because you guys know i've been wearing my natural hair out my hair is very very thick and you know i just want to make sure i'm treating my hair in between my sew-ins oh my god this smells really really good it looks so rich the texture of the cream i really like that so Bentley, what are you doing? So I'm gonna definitely try this on my hair. Then I also got another hair product, which was the leave-in conditioner. So yes, we got a full, you know, a full line of products to try. I'm definitely gonna try everything out and let you guys know how I feel about it. I'm definitely using the body cleanser with the body cream and the body scrub tonight so this is the three products that i'll be using tonight for my shower routine i just love trying new products and i have a lot of products so i'm gonna let y'all know the tea on it if it's good if it's worth investing your money in i think it should be because from what i see i'm already impressed but yeah guys i'm about to start my day this is obviously a few days after i went out um today is actually thursday may 4th i have to film content for a HelloFresh brand deal that I have for Instagram. So I'm gonna be doing that today um, cause it's due tomorrow. And yeah, that's what my day's gonna consist of. I have to film and edit that. Why is my lighting so horrible? But that's all, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm on the camera with the bonnet. Eh, 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 eh. So I just came on camera to show you guys a few things that I actually got today. Um, and something that I got gifted in the mail. So first things first, I got these cargo pants from Urban Outfitters. Um, I have these in green. You guys probably have seen me wear them, wear them, wear them before. And I just had to go get the black ones because I just feel like the green ones are so functional. I wear them all the time. And I'm like, why not get black? Because it just goes with everything. And I did get a stain on my green one, but this is how wearing them these are from urban Outfitters. they're 75 dollars i will link them below if you guys want to get your hands on them i really love these pants this is not sponsored i'm really just sharing with you guys something that's a good piece in my wardrobe that i wear often i got them in a size medium my green ones were small but i think i want it more oversized so got these it's really really airy um the bottoms you can like take off the um the scrunch part and make it wide leg at the bottom like if you wanted to just be wide leg and more relaxed i'm going to give you guys all the sex on these hands i'm going to get a pair so you guys can really see ah so you guys see the difference like this one's like cinched at the bottom this one's wider yeah so it's two different ways of wearing it i never really wear them wide because i like wearing it scrunch i don't know it's just like a preference for me but if you want to get them you have the option to do either or so i'm just gonna tighten that back up so yeah i got these today and i also got these two designer books mini designer books from let me put the camera from urban outfitters as well i didn't even know urban sold little books like this but really really cute i actually want this book in the bigger version they come like 
with different states. It's like Tulum, not states, countries. It's like Tulum, London, Paris, anywhere that you could think of, they have them. But the bigger version is like about $100. Urban Outfitters have these mini ones for $16.95 each. I also got this Chanel one. Um, so if you, I well, you guys don't know because I haven't told you guys, but I will be revamping my entire living room space. It looks a little crazy right now, but my living room, as you guys know it, there will be some changes happening. I'm going for a more artsy, colorful kind of vibe. I mean, I have color because of my couch, but it's still very contemporary in the style. I want something more urban, modern in a sense. So, and I want to incorporate more of my personality into my space. So that's just more color, more fashion, things like that. So that's why I got these books. And it's actual books. They have like information in it pictures, readings, everything. Um, I have a lot of fashion books throughout my house, but I just really think this is a good piece for like decor. You can like, you know, just put it throughout your house. So I got these and my pants today. Um, I got a, also like two days ago, cause I haven't vlogged in a few days. Um, I got a package from Kurt Geiger. Mother's Day is coming, so I got my mom a bag because they gifted me a bag as well as a shoe. But this bag's for my mom. I can't show it to you guys because I'm not going to open it. I'm going to leave it in the packaging. But it's a small black bag. Um, but I'll show you guys what's actually for me. I got some sandals from them. And they're so, so cute and really, really comfortable. So I'm really excited. Look at these shoes, guys. They really gifted your girl some bomb sandals for the spring and summertime. I can't wait to wear these. They actually also look so cute with these pants. Oh my God, let me show you guys, hold on. Look how cute these look with the pants. Like, are you kidding me? I think these are so cute. It's like you're not even trying to do too much and it's just still a little moment. These shoes are definitely a statement, but like I said, they're very comfortable. I will link these below if you guys want to shop them because I just love them. Let me try on the other pair so you guys can get the full vibe. Cute. Yes, I love these. Really, really like these a lot. So yeah, I'll link these below. The girls that get it, get it. It's a statement. This is for the girls that really want to pop out. Okay, also something else that I got gifted to me this week. My girl Kylie dropped me off some candles from her brand Naked. These are the two that she sent me. I love this one especially because it's just so minimal and cute. But I also love this one too. Um, I don't know when I'm going to burn these because these are probably going to be a part of my new stuff that I use for my decor for my living room. I'm also trying to decide if I want to change this painting. I just recently got this Valentine's Day and finally just put it up. But for the vibe I'm going for, it might not go. I might have to move it onto another wall, just like in front of me right now. But I'm not gonna make any hasty decisions just as yet. You guys will see, cause I'm gonna take you guys to the process. Um. Oh, I don't, well, did I tell you guys? I don't know if I said it during this part of the vlog, but your girl got gifted a couch from a company called Value Furniture. Um, really, really excited about that. Um, the couch is really big. Well, it's not, I wanna say it's really big, but it's much bigger than what I have now. As much as I love my couch, it's just not a lounge couch where you kinda just sit out, relax, lay out, and just, watch movies and stuff like that. It's not that kind of couch. It's like you sit down, maybe two people could be on the couch sitting down, not laying down. So I wanted a couch that's more like chill, you know? So when I get it, of course I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's probably, it's not coming till I get back from New York. So there's gonna be a New York vlog and everything happening before you guys see more of the apartment stuff, but I'm just getting little pieces here and there to start transforming my face. I do have a lot of good pieces already. Um, and I'm just kind of recycling things that I have and then get rid of, getting rid of things that I don't really need. Um, I will be getting rid of my couch, my coffee table, and um, this TV thing under my TV because I no longer want that. Um, but uh, yeah, and my mirror, I'm going to get a new different mirror. 
But I'm not rushing anything. If anybody's in the Atlanta area and wants to purchase any of my furniture pieces that I just shown, DM me on Instagram and we can figure something out. But I'm about to go to Popeyes, guys, because it's Friday. It's actually Cinco de Mayo. I'm in the house. Y'all know I don't be outside like that because I be in the sheets, not the streets. Um, I'm about to go get some fried chicken, get some fresh fries, and watch Power tonight. And then be back at it again tomorrow. I'm getting emails right now. I need to respond to what? Now you don't want to run. This is how dogs act when you bring them to the vet and they know they're about to get there. Check up. Shots and etc. He's just acting a little crazy, but he kind of calmed down when I turned on the camera. He was hopping up on the chair. Look, this, look at this. His fur is on. Let me relax. It's not going to be too bad. He wants to leave. That's why he keeps going to the door. <laughs> Bummy, what are you looking for? Oh my god. He's up here for now. Look at my hair, y'all. It's a puffy mess. They keep getting wet in the shower. So I had to put on a hat. Hey guys, so this is, I think, about two days since you guys see me on the camera, maybe. I'm in New York, location change. Um, I'm actually about to head out to go get my hair done. I'm getting a silk press that my hair really desperately needs. My hair's been looking like horrible for the past few days. I came to New York on Monday night. It is Thursday morning. No, I came to New York on Tuesday night. It's Thursday morning. Yeah, I came Tuesday night. Yesterday, I went to a sample sale. It was a really hectic day. So I'm going to just insert a clip from TikTok so you guys could check that out after this so you guys can get all caught up. But today, I'm going to get my hair so pressed and that's just what's going on. I don't think I want to bring my camera because I'm not carrying a big bag and I'm already running late. So I'll check in with you guys when I get back in the house. Tonight, I'm going to Philippe's for dinner. Um... So, yeah, today is just like a enjoy New York kind of day, get your hair done type of day. I didn't even have time to do my makeup before this appointment, and I have to get content on TikTok for the hair appointment, but we move. Um, I'll be in New York until Monday. Um, I'm staying here for Mother's Day. Of course, I got to spend time with my mama. But, yes, oh, you see how my hair is like sticking up? Like, new hair loading. Just wait on it. Hey guys, coming me to spend some money today. Let's talk about how it was my first time getting on a train today in four years. I had to go to the city to meet up with my friend Ebony. Then after I met up with her, I headed to Soho because today we're going shopping. I love Soho with such a vibe. These shoes are so uncomfortable, but I made it to the area sample sale. Thankfully, the line wasn't long when I got there. Hey, Reese. But they had so many options to choose from, which I was really excited about. I really loved this vest. This skirt was a mess, but I just wanted to try it on. I really wanted that blazer, but it was too big. This is how we were trying on our clothes, literally looking into our phones. I ended up getting this vest, and all in all, it was a great day. Bye. Hey guys, I'm in Brooklyn, so I definitely had to stop by H2 Salon to get my hair done. It was much needed. Like I told you guys before, I just absolutely love this salon. It's such a vibe. Of course, we had to start off by shampooing my hair, which was amazing. Girl, I went from looking like this to this because the shrinkage is definitely real. Then we had to straighten my hair. Daily was definitely getting up in my roots, and I love that. 
I decided to try a new style today because she convinced me that it would be best. It was giving Shirley Temple, but trust the process because it came out looking really, really cute. And I just absolutely loved it. And I just left the salon because I was feeling myself. But yes, check them out. Bye. Guys, it's so many hours later. As you guys can see, the hair is done. I just did my makeup. I need to still add lipstick, but this is just my lip liner. I'm um, just having a little glass of wine because I'm going to dinner with two people for the first time tonight. And like every other millennial, I have a slight bit of anxiety. So the wine is supposed to help with that. So if you guys have any like a trick, if you're like going on a date for the first time, dinner with friends for the first time that you like, you probably know them through social media, but never met in person on a really intimate level. Trust me, wine does the trick for me every single time. I'm just about to get ready. I'm like, let me check in with y'all because I promised to go on camera when I was done with my hair. But today ended up just getting like really, really hectic out of the blue. But I'm here now. I think that's all that matters. Um, oh, I hate the orange ass lighting that my mom has in this freaking house, but damn, that's the one just had me get a little lit. The makeup is given though, lashes given. I have on Blink Beauty lashes. If you know, you know, I'm not gonna say too much, but if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, I found those in my mom's room, she had them in the drawer. I'm like, you have these lashes after all these years. Like, y'all know when I used to sell lashes in here? Like, get into the lashes, mink lashes. I might have to come back on the scene because it's not giving what it used to give anymore. So, I have to show y'all how it's done. But anyway, let me get ready for dinner. I'll give y'all a little OOTD before I leave. But I gotta head out the house because I have reservations at 8.30 and it's 7.30. So, see you guys in a second. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am dressed. I'm back downstairs, by the way. You guys are probably like, why are you guys, why are you always filming here? It's because it's the best lighting in the house. So I have on my brand new area jeans that I got yesterday at the camera sale. My tank top is Zara. I'm gonna be wearing my Aquazura heels that I'm about to put on. Um, I'm wearing my new coat guy bag. Let me cut the tag off. Like, this is how new it is. First wear is tonight. Like, I really stopped saving my outfits for, like, all my good stuff for, like, special occasions. Because I feel like every day that you're alive is a special occasion. So, that's how I'm treating all my outfits. So, I used to be the kind of person where it's like, no, I just got this. I'm not going to wear it now. I got to wait till it's, like, a really big thing. The big thing might never come. So, wear your clothes. And... I'm gonna wear my new jacket that I got from Louis Vuitton. This is a um, one of one piece. I can't really get into too much detail, but just know this is what that is. Um, so yes, this is the outfit. I think it's cute. What do you guys think? A little last minute put together fit. I'm actually about to take off the jacket because I need to put my heels on and drinking this wine has me like really really hot right now like seriously i'm not gonna finish it because i plan on drinking when i get there to the restaurant so yeah let me put my shoes on and i'll check in before i leave okay guys it's time for me to go i'm about to call my uber it's 7 52 I don't know if I should call my Uber now or once I got a response to this text because I don't ever like being the first person anywhere. I just think that's freaking annoying, but here goes that thing. Let's go to dinner tonight. I'm going to Philippe's. This is one of my favorite restaurants. The food here is so good. 
Here we are just trying to figure out what we want to eat. These drinks are a 10 out of 10. I also got this shrimp entree. I don't remember what it was, but it was really, really good. And it was my first time trying it. Here we are trying to guess the bill. And obviously Tia got it so wrong. Just look at her face. Here I am doing a quick outfit check before we took pictures. You can't end off the night without some hookah. And yes, that's all. Good night. Whoa, this is a whole new person. Hours later, just got in the house. I'm about to eat while well, I showered, took off my makeup, all that stuff. I want to eat my leftovers from dinner tonight because I'm hungry. I'm not gonna eat all, just like a little bit of it. Because if you know, after drinking and stuff, you get a little hungry. So I need to not be eating this because I'm trying to really watch my daily calorie intake, but hard when you're like I guess on vacation I'm not on vacation but I'm not in my typical routine that I would be in in Atlanta either so yeah so I'm, I'm kind of cheating but yeah so that's what I'm about to do just wanted to check on what y'all got you guys because I got back in the house but tonight was fun um we just went to Philippe's then we went to a lounge in the city called Gardenia Terrace. I usually, I used to go there a lot, but you know, we just have like those one or two places that you suggest to people because people can't decide where they want to go. I'd be having like five places like, oh, we can go here, we can go there. You gotta have those places like in your memory ready because if you know, like when you got with a group of people, like you will spend so much time trying to figure out where to go to the point that you never end up anywhere so that's what we want um we just had like a drink it's a hookah which i need to not be smoking hookah because i made a promise to my mom that i'm gonna stop the hookah and i'm really honestly i've been doing good but today i had a little bit of distractions but i'm really cutting back on hookah i don't really need to be doing that so I'm not tripping. But in Atlanta, in Atlanta, like it's hookahs everywhere in Atlanta. It's not like that everywhere, which is good. But that's why like in Atlanta, I just stopped going to the places that I knew always sold hookah. I also just felt like one, not every place needs hookah. And two, it's just like when you're in an environment with hookah, it's harder to deny it. So I had to just stop going to those places. But that's why I just go back to the restaurants and stuff now. Mm. I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna have some water. drinking liquor you gotta make sure you have your water trust me it's essential but i'm gonna eat my food drink my water and yeah guys that's it i'll see you guys in the morning guys i woke up so late today because the liquor was just not it last night but i'm eating curry chicken with bus up shop i think that's how you pronounce it this shit about to bus after i eat this i'm taking a shower though because it's time for me to get ready i'm going to win anita baker concert mm. i'm going to my mom so it's my bones but yeah, mm. it's mad bones. That's why I usually just like boneless curry chicken when I'm eating this, cause the bones be in the way. And I'm tight, cause I just got my nails done, and my nails gonna be stained from the curry. It's even though, like, 
Curry's thing is so bad. But I'm hungry, so I'm hungry. Cheers. See y'all later. Just yeah, I think you should just secure it just in case. Hey guys, good morning. I'm in the city with my friend Rayon. He's bringing me to my appointment with Palen today. They're gifting me a free bag. I'm going to just insert a TikTok clip so you guys can see what I did because we're like in a rush and I cannot do the vlog and the phone. So um, we're in Soho, by the way. Um, the store is on the corner. I'm late. My appointment was for 11, it's 11.22, so I gotta head in there right now. Hey guys, come with me to the Palen store in Soho. So first things first, when I got there, I had to take a moment to just soak it all in because this store was absolutely beautiful. And when I tell you they had bags on bags on bags, I felt like I was literally in bag heaven because the options were definitely there. So first I got started by taking a look at the iPad just to figure out what bag I wanted specifically. This guy was so sweet. He gave me a full tour of the store and told me everything about the brand and everything that they had to offer. If you want to have your bag engraved, that's also an option, which I thought was really, really cool. Of course, I had to try on some bags and get into all the details. I really fell in love with this style right here, as well as this one, but I just felt like this one was just a little too casual, so I was just really indecisive at this point, but this black and gold one definitely stole my heart. I thought it was so chic. I definitely loved this I think this is like a sheepskin bag. I thought this was so, so cute. And of course, we love a pop of color over here. When I tell you guys, it was just bags on bags on bags on bags. I'm not even exaggerating. But I finally picked my two bags, which was this mini one right here. So, so cute. It could be worn crossbody as well as this one that I also got. The black and gold, like I told you, that I loved. So I just got my bags and went on my way. All in all, it was a great experience, so thanks again to Palin for having me. Okay guys, um, I'm tired and out of breath at this point. I went to the Palin store, you guys have seen that content already. Got me two cute bags, they were so, so nice in there. Rayon did his thing on the BTS, so when y'all see the content, just know it's all him. Book me. <laughs> Period, book my friend, okay? Um. Then after that, I went back to the area sample sale and picked up a few more things because they lowered the prices even more, which was great. But y'all, I'm on a shopping hiatus. Don't show me nothing. Don't tell me what y'all think will look good on me. I'm not interested, okay? Because, you know, I've been spending too much money. And at this point, it's April, well, it's May. I need to start saving for my birthday. My birthday is three months away. So I got to get on the birthday run, so. So yeah, we're about to go get food at Ruby's. I haven't been there in so long. I used to go here all the time to get food when I lived in New York, but I haven't been there a while, so I'm excited. We're about to get lunch, and yes, it's really hot in New York, and my leave out is starting, well, my whole head is starting to sweat. So I'll see you guys at Ruby's. I just wanna chill and twist a lot. Catch sunks in my 745. You drive me crazy, shorty. I need to see you and feel you next to me. I provide everything you need, and I like your smile. I don't want to see you cry. Got some questions that I gotta ask, and I hope you can come up with answers, baby. Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? <laughs> not, not us chilling in the, on a block like. Gang, gang, we don't gang, gang. You know the motherfucking vibe. <laughs> Can't get copyrighted. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey guys, um, this is the next day. I'm so tired, but I go back to Atlanta tomorrow, and I just wanted to show you guys a few things that I got while I was in New York because I did. 
a ton of shopping while I was out here. Like, out of my budget shopping. But it's cool, because we got some good deals. And I've been needing clothes, obviously, very frequently. Because I do a lot of content. I always need clothes. So, that's how I justify it. So, um... I don't know if I told you guys I went to the area sample sale when I first got here. See, I don't even know where we are in this vlog at this point. And this vlog is like extremely long at this point and it's very choppy because I haven't been consistent with the vlogging. But at this point right now, y'all going to get what you get and we won't be upset. Hopefully it's still good. But um, I went to the area sample sale when I came to New York. I got here on Tuesday. The sale was on Wednesday. So... If I didn't show you guys what I got, I'm going to show you guys what I got now. I actually um, stopped by on the Wednesday, the first day. And then today, Sunday, I actually was able to grab something yesterday on Saturday. And I got two more additional pieces today because I was able to have somebody, you know, snag something for me. But, yes, that was an outfit. And you guys hear the traffic outside. That's New York for you. But starting off with what I got on Wednesday from the sample sale, I got this is the first bag. I got this really, really cute vest. I know I probably, um, I don't know if I showed you guys these things on TikToks, because I don't know how I'm going to edit this vlog, but you guys might see it twice. But this is the vest that I got. Oh, so, so cute. Um, I can't wait to wear this. It's definitely not the season for it at the moment. But it's such a statement when I do wear this. I planned on, like, there's certain things that I got, like, for when Fashion Week comes back around. Like, come on. This is, like, such a statement. I just had to have it. And for the price that I paid, it just worked out to be a steal. So I got that. Then... I know you guys can see it in the corner. I got this amazing blazer. Oh my gosh. So initially I was going to get it in like a green plaid color. But then when I saw this color, I was just, well, this style and color, I guess. I'm just like, I like the houndstooth. It's more classic. Since it's brown, I could definitely get way more use out of it. You could obviously wear it open, but I would be like hooking it in the front. And possibly wearing it like with nothing underneath so nice i love the structure i love the embellishments all throughout the blazer you know area just definitely knows how to hit it on the nail with all these extra little detailings um sample sales are very tricky you definitely have to pay attention to what you're picking up because you don't want to get things that are damaged but this one was in pristine condition no issues with this so i loved this and then the other two items I got from the sale, well, three actually, were all bottoms. So those are the two tops that I got. So one jacket and one blazer. So first I got these jeans. So freaking cute. Of course, they have the staple area embellishments all throughout the pockets and going down the zipper. And in the back is a moment. It has a heart shape. And then these cutouts in the back. So, so cute love this can't wait to wear it i'm actually taking it to get tailored tomorrow on my tailor and then i got these cute shorts oh, they're like so cute they're like slack material and they say area at the back and it's like cut out the looks for these are gonna definitely eat um yo i gained weight because those shorts i got them in a size eight and these jeans are a size, I think they're a size 6. Yeah, your girl used to be a size 4. But we getting thick. But I'm kind of just staying in this size range. And obviously just working out to tone up. But let me show you guys the last pair of pants that I got. This was, uh, hold on, the lighting just fucked up. A metallic moment. Also has the heart detailing in the back. But they're just a plain pair of slacks. That's what the knee area looks like and yeah that's everything i snagged from the area sample sale while i was here tomorrow like i said i'm just gonna be going to my tailor to get um my pants tailored out here and that's really it y'all um this vlog was very hectic but i think it's probably best if i 
start to wind it down. I don't even know if I'm going to end it off yet. I'll probably end it off tomorrow before I um, head back to Atlanta. But I hope you guys still enjoyed. Um, and yeah, this New York trip was just really quick in and out. It wasn't really... I mean, I did a lot, but I didn't capture a lot of the moments because when I tell you, like, it was just back-to-back-to-back to back to back things. And today, today's Mother's Day, by the way. I literally slept half the day, and I had to wake up to cook today for my mom and, like, my aunts and stuff. We ended up cooking, but during the day, I was exhausted. So bear with me, y'all. We're going to get back on track with these vlogs. Oh, I got to also show you guys what I got from Palen, the bag store. But... Just give me a few because that's another set of things I got to show you guys.